Rosa, welcome to today's video. Today I'm finally coming at you with my what sold on Poshmark for February of 2018. I really need to start getting better at putting these out earlier in the month. So you guys are like, oh, you didn't do your February yet? I swear you did. And I'm like, nope, that one was January. But today we are doing February. And so if you guys are interested in what I sold on Poshmark this month, make sure to keep on watching. Also, please be sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Join the Bar Patch fan and we have fun here all the time. Let's go ahead and get started. By the way, if you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Rosa and I'm just a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and on Sundays I give out some travel vlogs. So let's go ahead and just get started with what I sold on Poshmark. I did put everything in here because I did not like scrolling through my phone and all the other videos. So I was just like, no, we're gonna be doing this old school and writing everything down on paper. And basically how I'm gonna be doing these what solds now are like basically my best sales or things that consistently sell on Poshmark for me. It's not necessarily everything that I sold that month, but it is my top. Um, I like to do at least a top 15. March, or not March, February was a little bit slow. And March is a little bit slow because of just where my priorities have been lying. So I'm currently working on upping my priorities on Poshmark. But I do have nine items that sold that I'm gonna, well, not only nine items, but nine items that I wanna talk about with you guys, and then two items that were actual cancels. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I sold was a Talbot skirt, size four for $20. Uh, so my earnings were $16. And just to let you guys know, everything that I buy is usually under $10, usually under $7. Um, it really depends. So I got $16 for that. That one stood in my closet forever. I'm kind of gonna start not really getting Talbots as often just because it's not really selling for me unless I get it for the right price and I can have it lower. Number two, I sold a Torrid Top size 2X. This one I sold for $20, so my profits were 16 again. 2X I've been noticing is a really good size. I learned from Rally Roots and I actually learned this today but I've also been noticing a trend is 2X is a really good size um, to sell on eBay and on Poshmark. So if you guys are interested in like getting like something and if you're not really sure about it, if it's a 2X just grab it and see what happens. So next are some Enzo heels. I sold these on a offer price drop. So I sold them for $36 and so my earnings were $22.31. The size was nine and a half. Number four was an H&M dress size four for $25 and so my earnings were 20. This person actually gave me a very bad rating. She gave me a one star rating and I didn't understand why. I saw her comment, I thought it was not justified. So do not be afraid if you feel like the, their rating and their comment like doesn't isn't justified for you as a seller. Don't be afraid to actually I'm pretty sure I was drinking at the time. I was actually I think I had like a couple I'm not gonna lie. I'm over the age of I'm 26 years old So I can drink if I want to but um, I think I was drinking and I had some self courage So I actually wrote to this lady and I was all like hey like I wrote a really nice note I had nothing like weird or drunk or anything. I wrote a really nice note and was like hey like I'm so sorry that This did not fit you I did put the measurements and the size in the listing as well as in the picture. So um, I don't I don't think that you're and I told her I was like I don't think your rating is justified for by me as a seller. I sold this really I, I packaged this up really nicely for you. I gave you my card, things like that. And then she wrote back, says, you know what, you're right, I'm gonna go ahead and change my rating for you. And then I was all like five stars. So don't be afraid, or if you need a little bit of liquid courage, girl, and you are over the age of 21, go ahead and freaking right to them but anyways um i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a lesson if that girl is watching this video right now thank you so much for changing your review honestly reviews mean a lot to us as poshmark sellers and ebay sellers next i sold a nippon boutique vintage size 2 uh dress for 25 dollars. so my earnings were 20. this was a vintage dress that i found at goodwill i had no idea about it but it was really cute like Picasso style you guys see on the photo here and so I thought it was really cute so I bought it I sold it and I'm pretty sure I bought it for around $6.99 so I made $20 so I made a little bit over than $10 profit on this dress that was cool there is a hair that's been hanging on me okay let's see 
Number six was a Torrid Halter Tops, again, size 2X, which is legit. Um, I sold that for $20, so my earnings were 16. As you can tell, Torrid for me sells roughly around $25 to $20 a piece. So when I am looking out for it, I do keep the price in mind. Next was a kind of a really cool one for me. This was a San Jose Sharks top size small. It was NFL official. I sold it for $20 and got $16 for it. This was literally on a whim. It was a women's top. It was super soft and like it was like that really nice polyester athletic material. So I bought it and I was like, okay, we'll see if this sells or not. It was kind of like an experimental sell. But someone in San Jose really wanted it and I live near there so I was like that's real cool. Alright, number 8 was an ASOS plus size top. This was size 14. I don't think 14 is really plus size but man, it's, it's categorized. And I sold that for $20 and my earnings were 16. I do want to pick up more ASOS but only like really cute ASOS stuff or plus size ASOS stuff. Um, I feel like ASOS is really hit and miss or ASOS or however you say it. I say ASOS. I don't know. And number nine was a mod cloth, guess what size? 2X <laughs> dress. Um, I sold that for $23 and my earnings were $18.40 for that dress. And that was a really cute dress. I think I got it for 10 bucks though, I remember. So I didn't make like, I made $8.40 profit on it, but that's still a profit. It's not my $10 margin that I like to hit, but it's still something, so. We're gonna go into the cancels. The cancels basically means that these were cases that were opened against me that first of all, I thought were base, but whatever. Um, and then they were canceled. So basically I lost my money and the person got refunded, but they could do whatever they want. So um, the first one was a vintage 90s guest jacket. I was so mad that this got canceled because I was so excited that I got this jacket. You have no idea how excited I was when I got found it at Goodwill. I was like, oh my God, this is vintage guest. Like it's gonna sell someone who really wants it. Her claim was there was a rip in one of the buttonholes. I'm all like, yeah, there was a picture of it, but I lost the case, whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, it was, I sold it for, I don't remember how much, but my profits would have been $19.11. So my profit, uh, I think I got it for like $6.99. So I still would have had a good profit on that. It's just sucks. Shiitake mushrooms, if you catch my drift. Um, the next cancel was a Topshop tank. She claimed that it was stained. Girl, I've had this in my in a Ziploc bag for like six months and it was stained. I don't think so, Tim. But again, Poshmark sided with the customer. So I took a loss and thank God I didn't pay for <laughs> I'm just happy because my profit on that was, not profit, what I sold it for was $3.55, or my profit from the whole thing was $3.55, so I didn't really lose that much money on it. The jacket kind of made me angry, but the top shop, I just kind of wanted to get rid of it, to be honest. I've had it in my collection for like six months, so I was kind of like over it at this point. So that was everything that was, that I thought was necessary to talk about on Poshmark. I feel like if I do every single thing that's sold this month, it would take a lot longer. Um, this video did take a little bit long, but that was because I was kind of explaining to you guys uh, different reasons why I was telling you what I bought what I sold and why I'm telling you guys about it So I hope you guys enjoy this video Make sure to subscribe if you like these kind of videos because I post these types of videos twice a month I do what's sold on Poshmark and what's sold on eBay as separate videos So definitely make sure to check those out um, I do have a playlist called what's sold online Which is what's sold on eBay and Poshmark videos kind of together so you guys can definitely check that out I always leave it down on the bottom bar um, as well as I'll leave it in the end slate too So if you guys want to watch that that after you watch this video um, and yeah that's everything for me if you guys want to check me out on Instagram my Instagram is Briar Rose style if you guys want to uh, check out my travel Instagram it is Briar Rose travel so I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video bye bye Yo, what's up? I'm the mad header. I'll pour you tea please don't let it spread her. does it really matter cuz I'm the mad Ha, 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 ha.